Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord who God's life. Is it Holy Week? It's Holy Week. You should go to church all the way through to Doom. You should go to Monday Thursday to receive the body and blood of Jesus. You should go to Good Friday to, to watch the, the passion play out before your eyes. If you have an opportunity, go to Easter Vigil, finish up the service, and then celebrate the resurrection when it is finally time. It's a busy week. <laughs> We're tired. But are we too tired to talk about baptism? We are not. Baptism is wonderful. In fact, it is so wonderful that in the large catechism, Luther writes, the ordinance of God is to be held in all honor. Simple, right? Thing is, what it is, it does. Baptism is to be held in all honor. It is an honorable thing. And what it is, it does. You see, if you're baptized, that means you're worthy of all honor. You're worthy of all honor because that cross where our Lord would bleed and die for you, that is brought to you. You are washed clean in his blood. You are no longer the sum of all the things that you are ashamed of. You are no longer the sum of everything that has been done to you or the things that you have done yourself. You are baptized. That is your identity. That is why we talk about baptism so much. Because that which it is, it does. It is held in all honor because it makes you worthy of honor. And that changes how we can look at ourselves in the mirror. That means that when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we don't go looking for our guilt. We don't go looking for our shame. We leave those buried at the foot of the cross where Jesus died for them. And we, we make the sign of the cross because we are baptized. And we need to remember that. And then we look at our neighbor and we say, are they baptized too? Because there might be plenty of reasons to be upset with them. There might be plenty of reasons to look down on them. Sin is not good. Sin is not to be excused. Sin is so serious that our Lord would take it to the cross for you and for all the world. But that baptism, that baptism changes how we see each other. Because our Lord bore the consequence of our sin. Our Lord bled and died for you and even for your enemy. So that when you look at them, you can see baptism. And what it is, it does. That's a sinner that Jesus died for. That's a sinner worthy of honor. That's a sinner washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. Baptism changes how we see each other. And that's a hard thing to see sometimes. Sin blinds us to it. Anger blinds us to it. Shame blinds us to it. So our, our catechism teaches us ways that we can remind ourselves ways that we can see it, ways that we can understand it. We make the sign of the cross not as a magic symbol, but simply a reminder. I am baptized. This is who I am. Of all the other stuff that the devil would throw in my face, my Lord would have me know this. I am worthy of honor because I'm baptized. We pray it, our Father who art in heaven. That's nothing more than the prayer of the baptized. I have a Father who in, in heaven loves me as a father loves his dear child. Baptism is, baptism is worthy of all honor, and what it is, it does. So next time you look in the mirror, you feel anything otherwise. Next time you look at your neighbor and you feel anything otherwise, remember what baptism does to you and to them. You're worthy of all honor. Our Lord made you that way. Go to church.